In this screencast, we're going to talk about image editing softwares. A website is actually composed of mostly text and images, so it's important that you know about image editing softwares. Image editing softwares can also be helpful in creating comps, which is also called mockups for your website. So now I'm going to show you some well-known image editing softwares that are used by a lot of the web designers today. We're just going to do some browsing real quick and we're going to utilize Google search. The first software is called Photoshop and it's a software owned by Adobe which also own, owns Dreamweaver, a very popular code edit editing software. So Photoshop is currently the most used photo editing software. It is very powerful and packed with very useful functions to help you create images for your website. The only thing that prevents more people from using it is its price. As you can see the standard version costs almost 650 US dollars and the extended version costs almost almost a thousand dollars. So for beginners, this may be something that's too much to, to invest in. So let's look at another product that's less pricey and it's a piece of software that's mainly built for website designs. And it's also owned by Adobe. Let's go to their products page. The software's name is called Fireworks. And as you can see here, the title of this page is Rapidly Prototype and Design for the Web. So you can see that this piece of software is built mainly for web design. However, this piece of software also runs at almost $300 a piece. So if you still think this is too much, then we can turn to an alternative, which is called GIMP. And let's go to the website. It's GIMP.org. GIMP is another image editing software that is often used as the Photoshop replacement. And you can also open Photoshop files if you don't have a Photoshop software with GIMP and manipulate your images like that. It is not as powerful as Photoshop, but one thing that you need to consider is the price. You can come to the website GIMP.org, download the software, install it on your computer for free. And there is a donation button here if you want to donate some money and help this uh, program improve itself, please feel free to do so. So I have GIMP installed in my computer and started already. So it looks something like this when you first start it. And I'm going to create a new file just for you to look at. As you can see here, this file started as red background. And I'm going to drag it. Oops. I'm gonna click on the trash can button so it deletes that layer. It's very important that you know the concept of layers when you're using image editing softwares. So let's create a new layer. Okay. A new layer which is transparent in color. And I'm going to create a gradient like that. So it'll go from purple to red. And let's create another layer on top of this gradient. And let's create a box. And then let's fill it with this color, which is black. 
Let's create another layer. Create another box. Or let's create an oval. Fill this oval with white. Okay. So now you see that I have three layers. I can change the vi visibility of these layers by clicking on the eye. So you see it, you don't see it. This is very useful when you are creating different effects and you want something to be on top of another thing. So for example, this layer is on top of the gradient layer and the yellow or the white oval is on top of the black square. But you can always change the level the index of it by shifting the layers up and down. So now the black square is actually on top of the white oval. So this is the layer concept that's used throughout all image editing softwares and it's a very uh, valuable piece of function. And you can actually create websites, mockups, using GIMP. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.